down for it. Hendo and shotgun. Hendo more pressure. He'll be wrapped up, slammed to the dirt. Mike Wilson, another linebacker coming in with a sack. Wilson's fourth sack of the season. And the Bombers just can't seem to protect Jason Hendel right now. And Ithaca. that's on Jason Hendel again. Timeout by the Bombers. That time, a linebacker, Mike Wilson, was matched up against running back Jarrett Naden. And Naden is a very good pass blocker, but you can't expect him to be able to block a guy like Mike Wilson, who averages five tackles a game for an extended period of time. Hendel's got to get the ball out quicker on that one. And like I said, his tendency is to roll to the right. Portland knows that. They bring pressure on the right side, and when Hendel tries to escape to the right, nothing working. Uh, that's a strong side. It's just a natural habit for a quarterback to roll out to that strong side. Tough to make the throw running across your body on the left side. And Hendel a couple times has just spun right into blitzing linebackers of Portland State, and it's going to be another long situation. The original line of scrimmage appears to be at the 40 seven yard line the Bombers are back at their own 40 so they have a long ways to go it's going to be second down and 23 well the key number is 23 because that's who you have to keep an eye on as well Dan Ruffridge might be the only guy who's able to get the Bombers out of this hole that they are in right now as you mentioned second and 23 keep an eye out for Ruffridge Pendle more pressure and he's gonna go down again a group of Cortland Red Dragons in on the tackle. I'm not even sure who to credit that sack to. Jesse Scanna's in the middle of it. Scanna again, but th there it is again. I, I don't know why you don't try a draw play. They understand, Cortland that is, understands that the Bombers have to pass the ball. Everybody knows that it's second and 23. But why don't you try to combat that and run a draw play? You have a strong runner like Naden, even Sula, if he's in there, you can give them the ball force that defense upfield, but you go for the pass, and there is no time. I don't think Hendel even had a chance to look at his first receiver on that one. Well, and as we take a look now with just over four minutes to play in this ball game, the Bombers crowd starting to file out of Butterfield Stadium. Certainly a disappointing afternoon for the faithful of this blue and white squad. They trail 21 to three in the clock, ticking, ticking away. They're running out of time to make any sense of a comeback and if you score you essentially have to kick an onside kick to try to recover and get the ball right back so there aren't a whole lot of options left in this Bombers offensive season. Hendel, pressure again, he steps up, hit the last minute, that's Matt Hannon caught at the 50 yard line, that'll be a big chunk of offense, it's going to bring up a fourth down and long for the Bombers. Hendel got hit yet again on that play, I think they called it out of bounds. They call that no catch? Well, the play is backed up. It would have been a complete catch at the 50-yard line. And they've marked the football back at the 36. So it appears Hannon was out of bounds, not able to get the foot down. It looked like he had plenty of room. Looks like he got a couple feet down on that one. But possibly he was bobbling it on the way out of bounds, so we couldn't get a good look at it up here in the booth. But nonetheless, it's fourth down and 27 from the 36-yard line of Ithaca. Hendel to keep the season alive. And he's hit once again, wrapped up in the backfield. He has smothered Joe Kirchner, the sophomore defensive end, picking up his six and a half sack of the season. This Portland defensive line and linebacking core just put on a show in this last Bombers drive. Well, we talked about this offensive line and their growth over the season. This, this might be a low point for them. Again, you can't put all the blame on them because of a lot of other factors, but you can't give up all these sacks. I mean, look at it here. A couple guys just beaten right off the bat. How many sacks on this drive, guys? I think there were four. If I remember correctly, four sacks on this one drive alone.